HOA Fight Club. I'm Raylene Schifano. Um, today I'd like to discuss um, that I've had some requests of how to get records from the association and what to do if you don't get those records that you request. So when I would start asking for records um, of the association, first I'd put it in email form. The next way I would do it is I would take the letter that I had, the request that I had, and I would put a certified letter with return receipt, so they have to sign for it, um, to the property management company and also to the um, registered address of the association. And then I would also send a copy um, to the attorney general's office, or you know, just so that they know that you're going to a public record to do these things. Um, then the next thing I would do is if the property management company does not respond or the board doesn't respond to your request, then I, what I did was I started going to the Better Business Bureau. Um, the Better Business Bureau, you can get on there and you can um, put complaints and you can also put reviews. So even if they don't respond to your complaint, they, they don't have a choice but to see your review. And at least we're making a public record of property management companies that are not complying with our request and going by the law. So I also do that with the attorney of the association. You can send a certified letter to the attorney's office of the association and make a record to them that you're making a formal complaint that you're not getting what you're supposed to. When you make your complaint, you must include the laws. That will keep them um, kind of on their toes and they'll also know that you know what the laws are. So, and the state laws will tell you what your association is required to give you. Um, they will also say it in your CCNRs. Our declaration stated very clearly that the board was responsible for showing the homeowners or making available to the homeowners every record of the association. And that included the contracts of the property management company and the attorneys and any other contracts that we were liable for because we are all equal owners so we know we should all know who we're liable to and who the board is working with um, you always see your your people that are you know doing the outside work the um, yard work but you don't see who the accountant is and the auditor are so I found out that our accountant was our auditor so he was auditing himself well that makes it real easy for that um, accountant to do um, misdeeds so to uh, make the money disappear or not disappear or you not know where your money is so make sure that when you're doing your complaint or your request that you always use the CCNRs the declaration the bylaws the rules and regulations what I found out when I made my formal complaint to the property management company was that the board was in violation of so many of the de declaration themselves and they were violating the bylaws and the rules and regulations. Um, and I found out that the, it, the law does not make the board and them um, do what they're supposed to do unless you call them out on it. Now, I'm not saying you're going to get the records when you request them. You most likely won't get the records that you're requesting. I didn't get a lot of the records that I requested. Um, and it took me almost a year and a half, I think, to get into finally seeing the full um, boxes of the association. Um, a year and a half. And I just never let up. I constantly mailed them letters. I constantly mailed, ah, that was the other one. I mailed the insurance company a letter stating that because they're liable for their the actions of the board. So with the DNO policy. So you want to make sure that that insurance company knows exactly what this board is doing so that they are held liable for the board's misdeeds if they allow it to continue. So that was the other thing that I did. I was sending that certified. And my other thing is you get a certificate of insurance. Don't just be happy with the certificate of insurance. Ask for the full policy of the insurance. That is very important. Every homeowner should have a full policy. And mine was 100, like 130 pages long. It was really, really long. So make sure that you ask for those things. And they're going to tell you that you are not supposed to have those things. And that is not true. You are an equal owner and have the right to have any of the records of the association. So then after you get the what to request, if you do get what to request, make sure that you're, you know, say thank you, 
you know, if your property management company is giving you what you need, that is good. That means that property manager is aboard um, with the laws. He knows what he's doing or she knows what they're doing. Um, and they're not going to violate what they're, um, they don't want that bad review going on them. Um, I also made complaints to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau um, and they did put a um, watch on one of the attorneys that I had turned in for ethics violations. Um, they did put her on the federal watch list for unethical attorneys and we're going to watch her cases. She didn't practice too many things. I, she kind of disappeared after that. Um, so I haven't seen too much of her in, in the association life. So um, it does take effect. Sometimes it takes forever. The other place that you can take and make a um, written record of, and I always do this, and they're going to tell you that the property manager is not violating any laws, is Community Associations Institute. They um, are certifying, and the I think it's the CAMBC or something like that, CAMB. They have a realtor's um, property manager certification that they get for doing these things with these companies, with these trades groups. You want to make a formal complaint to them also. I know it's not going to do any good, but the more records you have of you trying to reach out and call these associations out and the property managers and the attorneys that are in violation of the law, you want to make sure there's a written record of that thing. So then if you do go to court, um, when I went to go to court, I, uh, we had to go to mediation first. And at mediation, I could prove that the board and the property managers had done things to us. They had harassed us on purpose and they were they were not fixing our home on purpose. Um, so it took me years to get all the evidence, but once I did get the evidence, that is why I got out of the association, um, uns I wouldn't say unscathed, but better off than most. I didn't go into bankruptcy um, by the association. And most homeowners that do file um, a lawsuit in civil court um, usually go into foreclosure or bankruptcy. Um, they don't usually win their cases and it's really, really hard to win those cases. And one of the reasons why is because we don't get the records that we're requesting. So just keep requesting, drive them crazy, show up at the property manager's address. You have the right during working hours to review things. So um, I would say, hey, I'm coming in on this day and I will expect those records to be there for me. And then if they deny that record, tell them to put it in writing so that you can turn them into the Attorney General's office. I've written many complaints to the Attorney General about HOAs and how they're um, doing unethical and unlawful and unconstitutional things. Now, our Attorney General didn't do anything either, but there is written record. There is written record for everything. Um, and if I ever needed to use those records, I could go back on those records and rely upon the certified letters that I had sent that I did give notice and that they did deny or ignore my records request. So that's my message for you today. I hope that helps and I'll see you on the next one. Hi guys, just one more thing. I was thinking that if you would like an example of some of the letters that I have written or the Attorney General's complaints or how to do those kind of things, if you um, subscribe to my page and send me an email to hoafightclub at gmail.com, I will help you with those letters. I know sometimes they get confusing. Um, the less I found the less wordy, the better. You don't want to put too much in there, but you want to make sure that you quote the laws and your CCNRs and the declaration of that. So um, if you need help, let me know. I'm here. Please subscribe. Thanks.